Morning YouTube, it's Sunday morning and I'm trying to make some progress on the wind turbine today. Uh, trying to weld these collars to the gear plates for the drive shaft and this is a 28 tooth, I know I've said that a lot and that's a 20 tooth. Uh, my welder doesn't have the minerals to get enough penetration basically, these are quite thick, that's 8mm approximately it's a look seven mil you see that and so these saying the width of the collar is 7.6 so my welder doesn't have the mineral so yeah get should be getting a new welder tomorrow which I've used some of the don donations for I'll be thanking people then this is the smaller one Again, you can see it's got it in a few bits, but nowhere near as good as it needs to be. Let me just right stick. See uh, where I haven't done it there because I didn't want to interfere with the bolt. So it's held on, but certainly not good enough to have the blades wimping around with it. Oh, so this is the generator. I'll just show you both ends. So what I need to do is take these off and make some adjustments. All the, the extra bolt space needs getting rid of, extra bolt length. And there's a couple of other bits I need to do. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark this rotor disc with some red tape to show that the one with the red wire belongs on this side. So when I undo the wee bit in the middle, just there, Should hopefully pop off. There's that. Stuck in there. E. Now, what I need to do is you can see from here, it's not sticking, it needs to be sticking out more on this side. It's sticking out more on that side, so we need to try and even that out a bit. I'm worried because there is a bit of tarnishing on the shaft. That might be a bit of a mission knocking that through, but I'm just going to do that now. That was actually surprisingly easy. So I've squirted some WD-40 in there. And yeah, that's the uh, rotors. So I thought it would be a good idea just to mark up a couple of places. take them off I know they're quite well aligned that way so I'm not sure if I put them on a different way if they'd still be aligned so I'm gonna take these apart this is a spanner that survived the fire I have got a bucket of stuff that I saved I've marked it with the letter B just to show it goes on the black one one thing I need to do is to round off the edges to make it easier to uh, get in and out again we'll grind a couple of bits off 
the top of each just so we're not tight, too tight with the wires coming in. funny thing about these discs as they deteriorate and they make this sort of spiky bit that becomes extremely good at removing the top layer of cac so I like to use these wherever possible all the way down plus they're a lot cheaper than these so you can continue to use these as long as it's fairly even Sweet. so that took a little while but the whole point was to make it so now, I'm just going to zoom in. There's no, nothing's going to be touching the wires, cables at all. So that was worth doing. That's that one. So you've got plenty of space now. So that's good. That's another job done. Now I need to make trim the bolts down. So all we need is enough for it to poke over this side and get a couple of washers on. So I'll measure that and cut them. I need 12. So these plastic bits of the stator, they're 20 mil, so 20 and a half mil. So that means that the bolts I cut before were 80 mil. So I'm just going to cut these in half and that should mean I only have to cut six of them if I do it properly. So that disc will live to fight another day for some reason. Better get a fresh one on. Ugh, Joey. Still in pretty good shape, as it should be. So I've got this uh, Sealy 150 amp MIG welder, which isn't welding the thick stuff like my old Clark one did, but I'm hoping we can weld some bolts. We've got the 12 of these, and I just thought I might as well try and weld one end up. So let's see how that goes. the wire speed too high. Mind you, I don't know how good the earth is. They went in a bit nicer, but not perfectly. To show you again, that welder doesn't really have the minerals to penetrate properly on this kind of stuff. Which is why I've ordered another one which should be here tomorrow. But, still have a play around with this one. Well, that put some heat in that thing. Well, that one's pretty nice, look. Wicked. Yes, my friends, that's the money shot. So you can see now it's a lot tidier. 
There's nothing interfering around here. I still have to cover the wires up. I know that. But yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. The other side, you can see the bolts. Yeah, now the next one. And that's how the other one turned out after a quick cleanup. Uh, you may notice the welding isn't great, but it's more than strong enough. When I receive my new welder, I may put some more on around it. But it's good enough for now. So I'll put the other bolts back in. Looking sweet. Yep. Just check check this one goes in. Yep, yeah, that's good. Can't remember where the bolt is to tighten up the collar at the moment, but it won't matter. So this is the red one. See now we've got enough, we should have enough sticking out over the side. See it there? With the collar, we can adjust the position to where we want it. For example, you could have it like that if you really wanted. I don't see the point of that, but. I would sort of like to have it so it's at least level or even further in. So let's just put it level for now. Oh, that's that one. I've just got to find the other bolt for this collar. Oh, it's looking pretty sweet. I hope it works half as good as it looks. Sweet.